So Arthur, um, I think everyone in this room is probably familiar with the concept of kind of developing something in a lab, trying it out at the bedside, and then making it sellable in a marketplace. I wouldn't mind you starting off by just giving us a couple of examples where research universities have managed to make that happen. You know, research universities are these incredible places that bring all types of people together, and it can really help in the development of taking an idea and turning it into a technology. One example that some of you may have read about is a process called histotripsy. You know, it's a, it's a great technology, also good in crossword puzzles. Um, <laughs> what, it, what it does is uses focused ultrasound to melt tumors, right? It's been FDA approved on liver tumors, right, like cancerous tumors. And that sounds amazing. It's being tested on other things, but this is the type of thing at a university. It's not just knowing about the cells, it's knowing about engineering, it's knowing about patient tolerance. It's one of the great examples that has, I think, come out recently. And, and you know, you mentioned there like different departments within the university working together, collaborating. How does that translate out into the, the big wide world when it comes to cooperating and, and building bridges across different sectors? Yeah. So the, the fascinating thing is our university seeks to be a partner of choice, right? I mean, our university has 110 top 10 departments, right? So that's through medicine, engineering, law, and, and things of that nature. So when you're going to try and bring an idea to market, it's good to have all these relationships. And so just having, you know, many centers of excellence and many contacts into corporate philanthropy government, it just gives us the ability to produce value, I think, in really interesting ways. And when we think about kind of public health infrastructure that I'm sure a lot of people in the room here are interested in, what does success look like in that context for research universities in the US today, would you say? Yeah, it's, I think of it in two ways, right? I mean, I'll tell you just what keeps me up at night is research universities have this extraordinary capacity to save lives. And so even seemingly small and arcane things that happen at a university, when you can have a 1% process improvement, and then you tie that to the magnitude of what universities do, particularly ours, because we own a hospital, we own a hospital system, so we can discover things, test things, and put them at bedside. Um, it's so motivating, right? So that's like the day-to-day -day measure. Are we doing everything we can to save every life we can? But then you look at a large scale, and so that's another way to measure it, right? Just taking all the ideas of a university and figuring out how do you get from this uh, you know, proof of concept to scalability. Universities are really good at hanging in there, uh, with, with histotripsy, uh, that was a 20-year process. 20 years. Yeah. We can take certain types of risk. We can take longer time horizons. And then we can work with companies, philanthropies, nonprofits, governments to make really amazing things happen.